it's time top eight action i don't know if you guys know but this top eight obviously has the usual suspects the knuckle dudes the crossovers the nephews punks in the top eight i also know paladin's in top eight paladin the ryu player so you know people always like watching paladin i figure why not why not watch some street fighter it's been a little while right Ooh, that dj outfit also this is interesting i think i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm assuming crossover is playing this matchup because he doesn't want to play uh ken versus guile is this why is he playing dj instead does he like this matchup more maybe do you guys know maybe maybe that's what it is that's my assumption anyway oh i tried to slide through the fireball nice good reaction he perfect parried the boom and then that gave him time to up kicks there full nice free he might have been able to do it even if he didn't perfect parry honestly but perfect parry makes it a little easier basically if you don't know the fireball game in this matchup is like dj's fireball beats guile's fireball unless he does sonic blade in which case they're tied oh he's so dead he's the deadest person on the planet um so he could just throw a heavy fireball and it beats Guile's fireball from full screen. So Guile kind of has to stand a little closer because if he stands like full screen, you just throw heavy fireball with DJ over and over and like, yeah, you're chilling. Nice, man, good reaction. This is something that the best DJ players are really good at. Fudo is a base at this, by the way. He's really good at perfect pairing or regular pairing or whatever, and then reacting to the green of drive rush and then up kicking. In fact, even right there, you saw Knuckle Dude try to bait it, I think. He did jab. And like, Absolutely yeah, beautiful. if you can't drive rush jab, then you can't drive rush into anything, right? Like that's the fastest thing you're able to do. And it still wasn't enough. So yeah, yeah, you see how Dew is having to spend EX gauge so that he can like, he has to spend the drive gauge, right? He's like, I got to throw the fancy boom. Oh, he whip punished it. I don't even know if that was supposed to, that was probably supposed to be fireball. But um, he has to spend drive gauge to like win the projectile war, which is good because normally in neutral, Guile just like doesn't spend any drive gauge and he just wins and like he's winning in the drive gauge war and it's very bad for you. So it's nice to get him off of drive gauge. Even if you eat the EX boom, that way you're ahead in drive gauge against them and you can actually like play the video game. Punish? No, I wonder if he had a raw Sobot maybe. Or up kicks. Up kicks is really fast. Up kicks is like six or something. It's like extremely fast. But I don't know if it would have had a, the horizontal reach. Oh no. Yeah, I like that. So you could have spent EX like fireball into four. But this keeps more drive gauge. And look at how high the damage is already. So like DJ still has four drive gauge for pressure here, which is a lot. Okay, well, that's a little scary. Again, huge shout out. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you so much. Yeah, but imagine if DJ had spent all that drive gauge, I, he'd be burned out right now. So that's, yeah, that's bad. Right? So I think not spending it was a good choice. Nice. Dude, these perfect parries. How many? This is like the 15th perfect parry in this match alone on the projectiles. That was really good. And that's not an option he had represented before that, right? He was doing perfect parry and then throwing his own fireball, perfect parry up kicks and stuff. That was very good. Hey, hey, hey. Oh yeah, that's true. Up kick doesn't hit crouch. I wonder what his punish is at max range sweep then. Hey, hey, hey. That's a throw setup as well. This up kicks. After the up kicks, you whip back heavy kick, and then you can throw, or you can walk back the bait throw. And then this is a very smart option. First hit a back heavy kick, faint fireball, and then you try to hit a button. But I think that's like minus two or something. Okay, minus three. I don't, I don't remember what it is. It's minus, but it's very hard to check because... You know, usually you're just not thinking about it. It's not a common option. Yep. And he's in. He had to guess right there, throw or not, and you're dead if you guessed wrong either way. Pretty good spot for crossover. I like the way crossover is playing this matchup so far. Bang. As a testament enjoyer, who would I recommend trying in GBVS? It depends on why you like testament. Like, do you like you want a character with a scythe? Vassaraga. You want a character with like a projectile? Then you know there's like different options. You want a character like you gotta figure out why you like the character, and then oh. That flash kick hit? That's wild. Flash kick is am in this game. What a good move. Who has the most Hank Hill? I'm a Hank Hill uh, main. Who who has the most That's Hank Hill line? Answer. That's gonna go straight through. This does so much damage, I'm by the way. This this hurts. And it hurts your drive gauge. Go okay. The Kai of Grand Blue. Grand Blue has like six Kai's. 
Hey, hey, hey. I'm surprised actually that he didn't level one, kind of. Nice. That was great. Dude, crossover's a beast. His DJ's good. If you want like neutral buttons and a good projectile, then there's a couple of characters like that in Grand Blue. You might like Matera, maybe. You might like Fairy. Oh, oh nice punish. God. Nice Actually, punish counter recognition there, there from Dew. Like, the much. starter being jab, maybe he could have done a little bit more, no, no, but no, crouching jab, standing fine. heavy punch is short, good recognition. Um, like, Catalina has good buttons. You might like Catalina. You might like Vera. There, there's a lot of... Look at this, by the way. This is one of, I think, the cheapest things about DJ. This is so good. You jump forward out of the corner, and he does first hit a back heavy kick. EX, we have, and then he just goes, hey, 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 and he gets you back in the corner. Like, that swap. is brutal. That is a gnarly thing to get hit by. And then he's just letting the DPs rip. Cag, yeah, Cagliostra is, uh, Cagliostra is also a good recognition. I think that character seems absurdly good, and people have been like, I don't know, they're not as good as the last version, like, etc., oh, like etc., et et and After then two, now I see people fireball, turning the corner a bit. Oh, try to parry after, yep. I think I think that was straight up a punish. I don't know that he even held the parry. I'd have to look at it again. Wow. Is it better to drop the ender here? Yeah, I thought so. That was a sick combo. <laughs> Crouching light, crouching jab, level two, and the level two early into this. Bang, bang. That was tight. That was really smart, too. It's not easy to know that, but I think that was the right choice. It does. I think it does more damage depending on your resources and what your starter is. Yeah, dropping it. It's not even, that's not even a rhythmless scenario. That's like when your rhythm is so good and your brain is even bigger. Oh, yeah, this is going to hurt. Like you level cheap. one here, maybe? Like the, I guess not. To get full parry. Oh, no, he got oh, hit. Wow. That sucks. Not only... Oh, you are so fucked. Through. This is a guaranteed drive Three impact, by the way. Five gift subs. Thank you yeah, so Knuckle Dude can checkmate here. Yep. Biggest piece of advice I can offer people is when you have your opponent cornered oh, wow. in burnout like this, do not just raw send it on a DI right away. He's checkmated in the sense that he has no invuln move. But if you raw the eye and he holds up forward, like right when you do it or neutral jumps, like the round is pretty losable. Drop Instead, Knuckle Dude just waits, checks this, and now that he checked this, it's guaranteed. If he waited and then DJ jumped and then he anti airs, the anti air will also force this checkmate, right? Like bo both of those scenarios, doing nothing first is great because once you're correct on that on checking whatever their escape attempt is then the guaranteed part after is like way safer way better but if you just do it right away there and dj holds up forward you might lose the round so the patience there was pretty important otherwise like i, I so many people lose rounds like that you know it's really easy to perfect Oh, nice anti-air. That spot like was... So on point yeah, that was a, a nice little stand medium kick angle. Blade. Nice. Level 3, of course. Gets your drive gauge. Cleans theirs up. It really sucks to get hit by a crouching medium kick from half screen from Guile like that and then lose all that life. That is, that is pretty gnarly. This is a very hard round to win if you're crossover because you're going to have to spend drive gauge probably to get in. And if you're not right, then you probably lose. And if you are right, you you are still probably down against Guile. So you need to make it count. He has to get in once and basically win. Yeah, like he has to win right here. Yeah, now I don't know. I don't know. This is this is pretty hard. Okay. I mean, there's a chance. He could throw EX Fireball and throw off Knuckle Dude. Okay. Knuckle Dude has no meter either. I think you just send it with drive rush here. You do like medium, 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 and then you drive impact, right? Oh yeah, this this should be checkmate, right? Oh my! What? He just did raw flash. He just did down up kick. No, no oil, no butter. Like he just did it. Down. Down. I mean, he did, like crossover wasn't gonna rod the eye there. There wasn't he wasn't that close to the corner yet. That was yeah. 
that was ham. That sucks for uh for crossover for sure. That was a like there was a way to win that you know that scenario. There was probably a way that he could have gotten close to check or gotten something near it, but unfortunate. I mean that's like that's how you have to win there if you're knuckle dude though, right? You you can't if you just sit there and do nothing, then you're gonna get pushed to the corner and DI'd and die probably. So it was smart of him to try something. Like he's gotta do something, but that's just funny that that worked. When I with punish, yeah. Beautiful punish there. I yeah, I think the mid range in this matchup looks a little annoying sometimes for DJ. Like particularly once he gets behind, it's it's yeah, it looks a little annoying. The thing is though is that he has um he has such a like high damage output that like one hit is so huge. Flash kick? No, it takes the knockdown. This spot is rough. This this spot is not good. Like, space he's creating. yeah. Oh, he anti aired with Sonic Blade. That sucks. Every time Sonic Blades goes out, too, he can always throw EX Boom. And if you see Sonic Blade as D uh, DJ, you need to throw Heavy Boom to beat it. Because if you throw regular, then Sonic Blade is twice, right? So you'll get hit. So, like, you have to throw Heavy, and then if he throws EX, you lose. So you got to be careful. Oh, and there we go. Full dash. Yeah, he's just going to drain the drive gauge. Yeah. Dead. That shit is a shotgun blast to your life bar. Really smart. I don't think every Guile player would activate level 2 here, but I think it's really good too. Yeah, look at his drive gauge, by the way, from this. <laughs> that shit is like a shotgun blast. It's so funny. It does so much, and then that does a chunk of life. The problem is you're you're like, oh no, like I gotta do something or I'm gonna get burnt. And if you get burnt against Guile, you know, you're probably dead there anyway. So then you want to move or do something, throw fireball, whatever, and then you get clipped and it does a ton of damage. Oh man. The A10 Guile. Dude's really living on the razor's edge tonight in this bracket, huh? Perfect. Yeah, dude is really good. He's one of those players, too, where he, like, enters tournaments every week. It feels like he's always in a tournament. You know what I mean? You tune into his stream, he's always in a tournament. He's always in a top eight, a top three. Like, yeah. He's, like, always in tournament, always doing well. Bang. Dead. Big dead. I love the way his machine gun upper looks in this game. Especially after the round that he had the game. Really clean there from crossover. Great, great way to come back after some tough games. On it, like the last two games have been pretty, pretty brutal. So that was a uh, that was a nice little composure. Yeah, this DJ color is really good. My favorite DJ color, the original outfit, is the purple. Also, I think the purple is really good. Like as you guys know, I usually always play purple or blue colors, right? Or gray, purple, blue, or gray. So this color is, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm all about it. Oh man, that was uh the reason dude did this is because he doesn't want to get burnt out. So if you're cross over here, you don't even want Knuckle Dude really to get hit by it. You want him to block this. So he's he's doing standing heavy punch here. He's just looking to sh to take the drive gauge. So Knuckle Dude doing level one is smart. It's because he doesn't want to spend. Two drive gauge on OD flash kick and then get burnt. So instead, you just do level one and then you get out of the scenario. And you know he's gonna press because, like, you know, you're about to get burnt out. So it makes sense for crossover to hit a button, right? So it's a smart choice. It just like logically, when you think about the game, you know, if it was a normal game without this resource system, it would just make sense to do EX flash kick. But because this game has drive gauge, like, you know. DJ needs to attack there because he needs to get the drive gauge low. And Knuckle Dude can reversal level one because it doesn't cost him his drive gauge. And you know what I mean? It's like a an interesting decision that spawned from the, the drive gauge in this game. Uh, that micro walk was really clean. Do you did you see the little step he took? He takes like a little step in. Like he took like two steps in and then blocks it like so close that I, like DJ can't even initiate here. If he drive rushes, he's dead. Yeah, you see, do you have the little jab check? He took that little step in, and then, like, DJ's like, oh, fuck. Like, I don't need... Oh, nice. Damn, that was clean. Yeah, he played that really well. He, like... He just pulled up right in that space and just threatened... Oh, yeah. That is... That start is not so good. Two drive gauge down immediately. No offense from it. Dude's got a lot of control. A lot of meter. 
Yeah, this is now looking a little troublesome. Oh, the snipe. And dude's ahead in drive gauge again, which Guile usually is. But DJ actually can mitigate that a bit with his fireball game. It's just like, if you start down on life like this, you're... Nice, perfect, right? Oh, no! That does happen sometimes. I think you had to do standing heavy punch into heavy Sobon. Yeah. Every time you get hit by that too, it's a punish counter too. So like, if you think about the drive gauge situation here, right? DJ is on like two and a half and down on life. Him throwing the EX boom here... Like, even though he spent two drive, he takes, like, a whole drive, like, you know, half a drive or, like, whatever on the punish oh, counter. So now. DJ loses that, and then he, he like, gets hit by that, too. Oh, he's got no gauge. Okay. Level three gets launched. Dude, getting yourself out of burnout is enormous. That's a big save. Yeah, he prevented disaster. What up, Tiny Giant and Ursula? He's trying. He's trying to he's trying to make it. This is a very winnable spot now for crossover. This corner position. Smart. Yeah, I think you're kind of forced to do something as crossover there, but now. Oh no. That was I, I honestly don't hate that decision because Dew is gonna do that anyway. So I don't even Oh no, he needed to throw a fireball there, I think. No, yeah, he had nowhere to go. This is really good coverage though from Dew. I I think he kind of had the challenge this fireball, sadly, because if he let if he lets this whole fireball control this, like look at the yeah. As soon as he doesn't jump here, I you're stuck. Nicely played it from both of them though. Honestly, that was a really good set. I think driver reversing the level two, I totally get it because he's gonna get burnt anyway, and so he tried to keep the corner and maybe have some offense while getting burnt out. I understand that decision. It's just like he then afterwards he was in a tough spot. Like being down and drive against a guy is rough. Yeah, and Philip mentioned in the chat this is something I talk about a lot. It's the reason it's so bad when you're down against Guile is you can't start winning the drive gauge war again because when you uh, when you are down against Guile, every time you parry a boom, it freezes your recovery, right? So you don't start gaining drive gauge back again, right? You parry the boom, and then it's it freezes your gauge, and then he does another boom, and you you, you know you parry it, it freezes your gauge, like so you don't you're not making progress, and then anytime you're late or you don't parry one or you get hit or whatever, then your gauge just doesn't come back. So. By the way, Strider, a beast. I don't know if you guys have been watching tournaments a lot, but Strider has been doing so well in all the tournaments I've been watching. It makes a lot of sense. He, you know, he started with Manon in this game, and I think the character fits him, but her her, her firepower is just too weak, right? Whereas this character also, I think, fits Strider's style really well, and he has been doing really well. Like, he's won a ton of tournaments. He's been doing really well online with this character. And, like, I think one of the big reasons is that he is... X, his ground game, his neutral is incredibly good. Like his neutral is really good, right? And a character like this, the way she is, like her neutral buttons are not the best. But when you have someone whose footsies are extremely good, right? Like Strider, then you make it look like she's just a nightmare, right? Level two again, nice. Dead. No, not quite. I like the escape though from Punk. That was really good to get out of the corner, recognizing that it wasn't enough. But yeah, Strider, I think this fits his play style really well. Like having a character with high explosive damage on one chance scenarios, he's really good at playing a slow, methodical neutral game with a character whose neutral buttons aren't the best. What a whip punish from Punk, by the way. That was really good. Yeah, he played Abel. He also played G. He played Laura and then he played G in five. And his G is the same kind of way, right? Like play methodical, slow, neutral. Get the one hit, win the round. That's kind of how he is. He's really good at that style. His neutral is really, really, really good. He's one of the only Marissas I see. Like, he's really good at this, which is not easy. Playing neutral with Marissa's forward heavy kick. Like, this move is slow. That's a big commitment move, right? And he's really good at doing that. That's like, your neutral has to be pretty good to make a move like that feel super good. Nice whip punish. We cannot thank you all enough I think uh, it is very impressive, though, to play a character like this against Punk because Punk's reactions are unhinged. Like, he is extremely good at punishing everything. Like, you whiff Gladius, punish. You whiff this, punish. You whiff that, punish. And, like, that's hard to do against this character. How do these committal moves kill me and not him? Because his neutral is that good. Like, he... 
Yeah, I mean that's the difference. You should just watch him more. If you if you find yourself watching Strider thinking, how does he do this? And I can't do this, right? Then um you should watch him more and, and figure it out. Cause you know that I mean that's the truth, is he's doing this against the best players in the country and winning with this character, right? So if he can do that then you know he, there's there must be uh some secret to his success nice whiff punish but i mean you saw right there like that's the thing right he does get whiff punish and he does die for things like that against the best play these are you know he's fighting the literal best players so of course that will happen but you know oh you gotta spend a level three here for sure but the the secret is is that you make your ones count right when you do get those one opportunities or chances you really make them Count. And he he has, he makes good decisions on offense to not uh, oh, I die. I say as he gets counter hit out of his drive rush. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Great so example. Well. Try to use the forward heavy yeah, kick. Punk with the whip on it. Snap. I, feel like I've seen this movie I gotta say, <laughs> he is really snappy. Punk. Punk's reactions right now are like perfect. When Punk is playing his best, he looks There's like he can't fucking can't beat him. Like he's, this guy's cheating, bro. He's too good. What am I gonna do? But yeah, oh, Strider tried to change it up. He tried to charge the forward heavy kick there to throw off Punk's timing. Yeah, see, he's trying different different things. This is a great example. If you are a Marissa player, look at the two things he just tried. He tried to charge forward heavy kick, right? Then he tried drive rush Gladius. Because if you're playing against someone who's checking drive rush, doing drive rush into Gladius is good to, to challenge their checks, right? Same thing with like drive rush into Superman punch or something. And then Punk's still ready with the whip punish. So. You know, he he's playing against like world class players and he's trying to throw them off by like, you know, he's doing different looks. He's like, let me try something weird. Let me try something new. Let me throw off their their uh, checks and everything. I like it. I, I think I'm a fan of these options. The best thing about Marissa's forward heavy kick, by the way, is you don't even need it to hit. Look at how much drive gauge it takes away on block. Look at Punk's drive gauge, right? He's like three and a half. Boom. Three. Boom two and a half so pretty like yeah every time he lands that on block in neutral he is winning a lot of resources right so he doesn't even need it to hit he's like perfectly happy with it not hitting he's dead hello definitely worth it do not be you, you can't be you can't be approved spend the meter take the kill yeah you build about two meters around. every round so punk spending level two to kill in the first round means he'll have level two to kill in the second round a lot of times i think um a lot of people like i had that conversation when i was playing kimberly to master people were like why are you using level two with kimberly because i would use it to kill and i'm like dude i i want to win the round like i know her level three is nice right but like like I said, he doesn't use it too often, you know, but when he does, it just <laughs> I, I'm happy to spend a level two to win around. Oh, that is bad. That Good really hurt. Ex. Save oh, jump. Oh, he missed it. Oh, dead anyway. <gasps> he missed it, and then that was chip. A little slop slop, but we take those. It continues to grow, and you powered Strider. He said, a little more money? You know what? I'm going to have to get serious. Yeah, Strider finally getting a point on the board. Put your hair up and square up. Seriously, thank you to everybody who's been helping grow this match arena. It has been like an influx of like almost two hundred dollars in the past like less than an hour. That uh, that's a not a good start. I yeah. Uh oh. I feel like we just watched the same round twice in a row. What do I call it? Superman punch? Oh yeah, in in combat sports, that's what a Superman punch looks like. You jump in the air and do that. Like, I'm trying to think. Is there like a good? I'm, I'm I'm looking for like a good gif of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's GSP doing a Superman punch. This is like, it's it's kind of hard to tell because he's he's like in midair. This is what a Superman punch looks like in mixed martial arts. You like jump and throw yourself in the air. It's the same as hers. So that's why people call it Superman punch because it looks like a Superman punch from traditional martial arts. And um, yeah, very nice. the uh, the way she does it, and like her fighting style is based Dude, on like a Greek uh, fighting style, right? And um, what's it called? She she has a lot of moves that are like you know traditional. You see in traditional martial arts and and fighting. Saw that match where get even higher and said, "Hold up, let me close this out." Yeah, she does um, um, whatever. So, so the P. 
Yeah, Pancration or whatever it is. Oh, I forgot that Bounce is on counter hit. I don't know what combo you get on Bounce, though. Any back heavy punch? Superman does have a Superman punch in Injustice, actually. Yeah, he does. It's his back forward three. Nice. See, you remember those little adjustments and new things I mentioned that Strider was bringing up? Notice how Punk was reacting to literally everything Strider did, and then he whiffed like, he missed like two or three whiff punishes at the start of this round. See how he missed that too? He, he missed the heavy punch, whiff punish like twice. Like the, the answer is when you give your opponent so many things to look for that it overwhelms them, they can't react to everything, right? So you don't need them. Like, you know, it's fine if they whip punish you sometimes, but if you like throw so many different options out there that they can't cover them all, then you're probably going to find success with a character like this, right? Marissa is really good at that. That's her specialty. Her neutral buttons are not the best neutral buttons of all time or anything. Oh, no. But uh, her ability to overwhelm you in neutral is, like, best in class. There's very few characters that can smother you. Level 2, nice. That can smother you the way she does. She is extremely efficient at making your neutral decisions, like, really hard. Like, you're, you're afraid of Superman punch. You're afraid of the armor on Gladius. You try to stand far away so that you can react to the the Superman or the uh, the Gladius whiff. You know you're not ready for it. You try to like stand. You walk away and you're scared of this. And then she walks up and does forward heavy kick. Like she has a lot of options to show that are annoying to deal with. Nice anti air. Anti air Gladius is professional Marissa strats for sure. You got to be a beast, and that's something you have to have in your game plan. Oh, no challenge there from Punk. He could have EXDP'd, but I think his drive gauge was too low, so he didn't try it. Nice. You see how Punk was trying to stuff that drive rush, and Strider again does drive rush into Gladius. Oh my god. That could have been really scary. Jams it in there, level one. You're finished. Smart. Smart of Punk to spend the level two, and then right there, same thing. He clawed his way back. He almost got overwhelmed by... Strider style, I think, but he cleaned it back up. It's really hard not to, honestly. Like, Punk is maybe one of the best, if not the best, players in the world at playing reactive. So if he's struggling to stop that, like, what the fuck am I gonna do? You know what I mean? What am I gonna do? If Punk is like trying to stuff these drive rushes and shit, and like the the neutral, if he's struggling, what am I supposed to do? Again, thank you for supporting the players and supporting so, the team. So, that is gonna yeah, go like, straight to these you know, players, very well played. M? Dude, even people with M. It's just going to go straight for the combo here. Not gonna it's not the not always possible. I have a one-button DP when I'm playing Grand Blue, and I'll tell you what, I miss yeah. DPs plenty of times. Nah, I'm holding it in. I still. Every chat said L take, and I'm stupid last time, so now I just... They I'll, bullied you, bro. That's I'll pretend crazy. like I don't like this costume. It's nice. It's great. I don't care, chat. I like that, yeah, exactly. I like that nephew didn't just rip the, the DI right away. I think there's a lot of value in just like pressuring your opponent while they're in burnout and not DIing right away. It's really strong. I generally think that you want to save it, especially if they have a lot of life. Like, stunning them early is often not even that good, honestly. Yeah, Grand Blue has a one button special move that you can, you can do. So it's like modern. What a Blix. Oh my, that was so far away. He tried. He, he was minus and went for the perfect parry buffer. Oh. Oh, that fireball didn't hit. Sneaky. Very tricky from Nephew. Nice little crosscut action. You know, one thing about learning Leverless, I actually think crosscuts feel easier on it. Like, I think regular DPs to me are harder. But crosscuts feel a lot easier, actually, uh, than regular stick. Level 3 here. Coming at you. Especially because you've already put yourself in a burnout here. So you're going to get rid of most of the burnout timer on its own already. It is just barely going to live though. Yeah, because you don't have to do a DP input to do cross cuts. The, the way most people do cross cuts is half circle inputs. So as an example, at this angle, if Ken is jumping over Jury's head, he's going over here. The way you would do it is you do a half circle away. So you do like this, this, down down back and then you hit punch same thing on stick but uh i find that on leverless it's a little easier to input that than on stick for me like i don't think that it's hard to do it on stick but you know it, it feels even easier on leverless yeah i mean it is a shame that he was literally a pixel from killing nephew with that combo and now 
This is where he finds himself in a very losable, oh, very losable position. That you definitely could have lost that. Forcing the block, knew you were gonna land, so just let the DP rip. As soon as he jumped, is happening. There's nothing. You yeah, can I think nephew was kind of stuck though. The same thing with him not killing there. They both committed their resources. Oh no! Nice punish, by the way. I like him spending drive, drive impact as a starter to get the drive gauge low. He did delayed throw there, and he caught the back dash. Oh. Unfortunate. I think Nephew could have killed there, but you know, he was just going for the pressure on block, not realizing it was already hitting. Go. I'm impressed with how Nephew plays this matchup because I think I don't know about you guys, but when I watched this generally, and like when I played Jury, I thought this matchup matchup seemed hard for her. Like this matchup has got to be good for Ken, I imagine. And like, and yeah, I watched Nephew fight really strong Ken players. Like he, you know, he played Chris T and um, the World Warrior qualifier. And like in general, I, I watch and I'm pretty impressed with how he plays this matchup. Like it, it doesn't seem like it's super easy to play. I like how he went back to say it's time to go back to the streets. <laughs> want the moon boots back on. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure though, because I know that this isn't the matchup that jury players think is the worst, right? They think um, uh, Guile and maybe like Chun are the most annoying. Is that correct? I'd have to probably ask a jury player for sure, but I think I know that, that those are two that people don't like that much. Luke, Luke and Ken though are probably both not good. Is my guess. Level one. Nice. Yep, let's level one go. Yeah, Jerry definitely one of the best level ones in the game, whether it's corner. Why Guile? I mean, there were the reasons you think he's good at walling her out. He he's better at dealing with it the way she likes to approach than most characters, right? Like she wants to fireball and drive rush, and that's not really I think effective against Guile in the same way that a lot of characters can. Yeah, I I think that um I think that Ken and Luke both seem good in the jury, but Howdy. You know, it, I, I, then I watch Nephew and I'm like, maybe not. Yeah, also Ken can do that, by the way. Something very useful in this matchup. Tatsu against um, Jerry's Fireball is super strong. What up, RTG Wow? Trade combo? He had so much plus frames because of Drive Rush. Nice. Makes, it makes the trade that was already good for him like super favorable. Yeah, Nephew is a beast. Like, he is extremely good. So, I, it's hard to say. Like, when I watch him beat Ken players, I'm like, is, is, is like, the matchup fine? Or is he just, like, a monster? Or is it both? Or, you know, it's hard to say. I'm, I'm curious. He, I'm curious to see if he thinks Ken and Luke are bad matchups for Jury or not. And, like, what his, his thought is. Because he, he, when I watch him play these matchups, I'm always really impressed. Like, I don't know. Nice. This is, yeah, you're, you're fucked. This round is so bad. This is a really rough spot if you're Uriel here. Have plenty of drive gauge for the offense here. If Uriel does something to be able to break out and get back control of things, you do a little delayed throw from nephew. Good. I like the challenge that time, so he didn't, he didn't get throw baited. Fighting for space a little bit more, which means if you're nephew now, throw is a little bit. Oh. Nah. All right, you got me, bro. My bad. Ever since getting sent to my bad two to zero. that was incredible uh yeah he's he's pretty good at the video game and with drive impact reaction, he's pretty good at the video game i'll i'll give him credit yeah i think it's it's probably both i think this matchup is probably good for ken he did delay throw there again something that nephew does a lot in his pressure if you're a jury player you probably notice he does dash and notice that after he dashes he doesn't throw right away right he does dash in he crouch blocks just long enough that if you wake up DP, he blocks, right? He's like, okay, I've crouch blocked just long enough to block a wake up DP, throw. So he doesn't immediate throw. He, he does dash into delay throw a lot. And it's because it makes him safe to reversal DP. Um, it's something that he represents like way more than I think a lot of people. Okay. He can kill here with double drive rush, level one. Detention. It's close anyway. The perfect sca parry scaling, yeah, made that a little questionable. But. Powerfully is able to secure the round two games. All it takes is one more. How plus are you after the dash? You're plus enough that her throw is a throw, a free, a true throw loop. But anytime you have plus frames, you can do a delayed throw like that. Delayed throw in general is a really strong option on offense. Or nice you can. 
Nice. I like the little stagger. Not going for the second follow up on the Jinrai just in case Nephew parried again. Because he just parried. So I think stopping just in case he parried again was a smart choice. Pretty inconsequential in the grand scheme of things. Drive rush, a little too short. Still okay. Those trades uh, definitely hurt as jury because every time you get hit by a fireball, when you throw a fireball, even though you win screen space, you get punished countered, which means you lose a lot of a lot of drive gauge. Might be enough. Level three. Not enough to kill, but still a really good situation for Nephew. Yeah, I like Nephew spending this because if if um. Euro hits him, he'll probably spend level three to kill him, right? So you, at worst, you'll be even on resources, and you're in like a pretty winning position here if you get a hit. Yeah. Oh, nice. Very smart. That DP was guaranteed. When someone does a drive rush, if what they do is a true block string, this DP will not come out. So when you see green here, you just input EX DP. And if Ken does like drive rush into a button and it's a true block string, like there's no gap, you just can't get it because it's a true block string. Uh, if there is a gap, then this will come out, right? And unless Ken does like drive rush, delay level three or something to try to beat this, then, you know, like he has no way to, to meaningfully beat that. And I don't even know if that would win, honestly. You cannot drive rush and then block. Right, there's like a there's too large of a gap until you can block. So it's a really good option if your character has an invincible reversal. Honestly, it's really solid when you see drive rush. Uh, Paladin, this is Paladin Ryu in top eight. I wanted to watch this because Banana Ken, first of all, is like an absolute monster. And then Paladin, as you guys may know, is I think he's the highest rated Ryu. He might still be the highest rated Ryu, but he he was for a while. His Ryu is really good. He's also like isn't Paladin like 15 or 16 or something? Just a kid playing Ryu. Normally Ryu players are like 47 years old, so. The opposite of what you'd expect. Uh, oh, he snuck that portal in. That that portal was very crafty from Banana Ken. If you guys don't know Banana Ken from Street Fighter 4, wow. That was so... This guy Banana Ken's a beast. That was a good level 1, though. Paladin ready for the DI reset. This guy Banana Ken's a beast. Oh, that sucks. Pierce. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to reach so, Banana Ken from Street Fighter 4 fame, score, right? You guys probably know him. Ken player, very Alex good in Street Fighter 4. He played Yellow Ken, time. makes sense, right? And uh, also Persona, you guys probably know Banana Ken playing that game. Plays Blue. He's been good at like a lot of games, right? I mean, he's, he's good at basically whatever he plays. But him being good at those kinds of games also makes a lot of sense to why he's so strong with this character, right? He has a Street Fighter background. He has an anime background. Those two things together, his, his JP is extremely good. I, I highly recommend watching his stream if you're looking for high-level play or JP play in general. It's really good. Oh, I like that. That was a cool setup. Nice reaction. Wow, that was... Damn. He was so fucking ready for that drive impact. Not easy to do to, like, just be ready like that. Oh, he tried to walk back and bait it. Paladin with the immediate... The immediate throw. Mm -hmm. Punish on the landing frame. Anime background plus SF background equals plays NRS character. Yeah. JP, if you're an NRS fan, honestly, he does make a lot of sense also. Oh, God. Heavy in the Hasho Geki. Sucks that if you're... Uh, oh, I like that Paladin jump back tech to make that whip. It sucks, though, that... Oh, my God. That's a lot of bits. Thank you, Recon. I didn't even see it. Good Lord. What is this? Was this a save jump setup that I've never seen? Stand, juggle in a standing medium, kicking a jump. I don't think I've ever seen that. Look at this offense. Oh, he tried to DI, and that shit just oh, got broken up. Supers beating DIs it's it's means it's a pretty tough spot. Is alive, but nice, man. He walked up and teleported. I don't wonder what he counter hit. That could have been a DP from Paladin. That almost felt like a shimmy with the oh, you're a Sage Jam fan so now. Crazy. God damn. What up there, Solric? <laughs> Yeah, NRS zoners are brolic, usually. They're very strong. NRS games always have a zoner that's like, what the fuck? No, he tried. That, that, that can work, actually. You can Tatsu from far like that and catch it. Oh, that angle is gnarly on the teleport. 
Yeah, he did. He took. He did eat the hit to avoid burnout. We saw the same thing earlier, actually, with the uh, knuckle dew and the. Oh no, this is gonna hit him though, right? <gasps> he really recovered in time there. Wow, what a combo route. How does he have some, dude? This motherfucker opens up his. Dude, how? How does he have parry the fireball, drive rush forward, place the portal, in a standing heavy punch, ghost in the portal? Like how? Where in his mind palace does he store this combo? Oh, I parried a fireball and they got hit, and I drive rush forward and play. Like where? Where is this? What room? Which floor of his mind palace does he store that combo in? Is my question. Alden, though, needs to figure out a way to trivialize Banana Ken's pressure because he is one game away from being Oh, he almost was in range for that sweep. Tried to go for a sweep there. Unfortunately, it's going to whiff. Still that he was very close, the though. Of the mm, no check. I know, right? Like, where, where does he have it? I love the timing on the jump right there, by the way. Like, notice the timing here is such that the portal is going to hit. So that if he tries to DP here, the portal, like, you, you see the coverage? Perfect timing. And he just empty jumps, right? He doesn't hit a button in the air. Like, like, yeah, perfect timing. That is, that is an experienced gamer. That also was perfect timing. What a block though from Paladin. Holy shit. That is not easy. Ooh, nice fake. Really good. Both of them, both of them had a good plan there though. Banana Ken saved himself from burnout earlier, actually right there, which is very impressive nice neutral jump how is he so ready and he knows the portals he's gonna level one and kill him i hate this fucking guy first of all this is a fake fireball banana can parries if you're a paladin you can drive rush and throw this parry and punish him and take like a whole grip of of drive gauge and then you get this nice punish and then by drive rushing forward here, Banana Ken saves himself the 2,000 damage throw and the punish counter. He sees that he's about to get punish counter thrown. Oh fuck, he faked me out. He's gonna come throw me. I'll drive rush into him and spend a little drive gauge and not get punish counter thrown for a million damage, right? Like I'll eat that. Then right here, the timing on this, to re-portal up is really good. His timing on the portal here is perfect, right? And then the neutral jump, hit the jump heavy kick, allow this spike to hit he doesn't hit a button walk under heavy punch really good everything he did in the last 20 seconds there he's a beast yeah bailing yourself out with the drive rush is exactly what he was looking for that that's why you do it because when ryu does hasho geki the light version it's a fake fireball and then if you try to parry the fire like you parry thinking it's fireball then he just does drive rush throw and he punish counter throws you and it's really it's really like, well, that sucks, right? It's not a good time. I'll show get and he gets the corner carry. Oh, oh, try to get tricky. Nice, that was good. That was heavy DP also. Oh, I love, dude. Is that fake meaty? I love that. The fake Hasho Geki, I love that too. The reason I think that this was really smart, man, that was sick. That was so sick. Hasho Geki, fake meaty. He tries to parry it, dude. Then I love that he just does DI here, by the way. Because if you, like, that's, yeah, that's the timing on that's brutal because he already was parried anyway, so he was stuck. But if he counter DIs you, then he burns himself out anyway. So Paladin was down to just do it because, like, why not? Are you going to counter DI me and burn yourself out anyway? But he had already tried parry, so. That was cool. I like it. I'm a big fan. Damn, he is already burnt. Yeah, level two to buy some time here is probably worth it. Yeah, now it's definitely worth it. Oh, reset into the spike. Ooh, and the fake too. He didn't even commit to the real ghost. Banana Ken did a good job there of waiting out the burnout. He he basically doesn't have to play this round burnt out at the expense of two bars. Right, at, at the expense of two bars, he was like down to just not have burnout be a factor anymore. Here is and he's going to build another dangerous. level 2 here, by the way. So he's just going to do level 2 again. Oh, and he gets here. hit, and he's, he's dead. That's why spending the level 2 there was so good, though. Because so 
He spends it the first time to save himself from burnout, and he just builds another bar in like 10 seconds, and he's like, oh, cool, I have enough meter to just do this again. Nice. Two level twos in one round. Very good, man. Like, I think spending the meter that way makes a lot of sense. But yeah. Cool match. Both of them are really fun to watch. They're both really good. Oh, shit. Super dominant and loser side here of top eight so far. The 3 0. Yeah, and FUB Ariel earlier. And then now up against Crossover. Not playing Ken, huh? Yeah, and already starting off really strong in this match against Crossover, too. But I thought he crossover. was playing DJ for the last matchup, but I wonder if he's just playing DJ now. I'm honestly not sure. I haven't. I don't know the answer. But either way, I mean, you know, both characters are very good. I like that non committal. I saw like a statistic that like DJ, Ken, and Luke combined are like half the qualified players for Capcom Ooh, Cup. What a sway there. <laughs> it cracked me up. Just going back from the jumping. Yeah, you know, of like, and it was funny because the statistic was like of the 43 people qualified for Capcom Cup, and I was like, there's 43 people qualified for Capcom Cup. I was like, I d okay, that's a lot. I was like, I didn't realize that many people are already qualified. I thought it was like there's still some more to go, but I mean, that's only a couple of slots left. Oh. Uh oh, jumps to the other side. It's a little bit of a whiff punish, but Nephew answering back immediately. With yeah, the I think Nephew wasn't gonna spend any drive gauge for, for Oki there anyway, right? Because he's already down. Spend the level three. No. No cancel either there. Oh, that's a little unlucky actually. Oh. Nice. I love that forward medium kick there. He was down to take some space. That move is really good too. This will hurt. Boom, boom. Mm -hmm. I like not throw attacking there. Oh, he could have killed. Man, this is a one hit scenario now for Nephew. This is a little spooky if you're a crossover for sure. Cause like if he checks a drive rush, ooh, that was scary. If he checks a drive rush with level three, ooh, that was scary too. He almost got stuff. But now you're fine. You're chilling. Last round scenario, everything's okay. I know, right? Street Fighter Five Luke was so much more wild, in the sense of like his dominance as a single character versus now, right? Now there's it's like three characters. Even though Luke in this game is really good, it is funny to think about Street Fighter V Luke. And he, he got nerfed into top one, basically, right? Like, I mean, <laughs> nerfed into the way he was at the end of the game. Boom. I love that link. That's one of my favorite links. It looks nice. It feels good to do. It does a lot of damage. Nice, little punish there with the nice. That is one of my favorite confirms in the game. That shit is so cool. You see this back heavy kick, faint fireball on counter hit, airborne ex. Oh, that is sick. The first time I saw that was Cien. Actually, I saw Cien do that, and I was like, "What in the fuck was that?" I was like, "Dude, what kind of made up ass confirm is this?" Yeah, that's pretty cool. Cool confirm. Oh no. The Abigail era of five. Abigail was pretty gnarly too. Abigail was really, really popular, and the way he won was really. Yeah, people were not happy. <laughs> he was not a character that made people happy, that's for sure. People did not lose to Abigail and think, well. If you get outplayed, you get outplayed. Like they were, they were fuming. Where can I find out who qualified? The website has some of the people, not all of it. I don't know if it's been fully updated yet or not. Last time I looked, it was not. But there's a spreadsheet that Super Yan has on Twitter. Um, that uh, I think is, yeah, I was gonna say, I think is also on Liquipedia, maybe. Also a good, good old place to look. Abigail was wild. Definitely a very wild character. <gasps> oh no, a little too far maybe for that crouching medium punch. And so it hit later in its active frames and then combo. Yeah, Abigail on blockables. Oh man, and his, his damage output was so absurd. 
This is this is death. Nephew gonna spend the level three here. Should be just barely alive after it, maybe. My oh. points. Yeah, his V trigger pop too. Oh my god, crouching like his sweep, crouching heavy kick V trigger okay, pop. Abby Gale just Nephew. like. Is the X command grab doing so much damage? Right Holy smoke. <laughs> what a funny character, man. True. He truly he truly was was Jonathan J Street Fighter. Okay. The amount of pressure that was standing medium was able to get the two charges, the fireball. Nice. The that was good. Perfect parry. No, we could have done up kicks. It, still... Nice. I didn't even know that worked. That makes sense it works, but I've never seen somebody do it. Oh, a little too late. And missed the DP. I'm actually surprised that I didn't combo. I wonder if Nephew did driver's jab. Or maybe if it was counter hit. It probably would have worked on counter hit. Damn. You're about to be... Oh, you're about to be burnt. No. Oh, I wonder if he dropped that on purpose to try to get the burnout. Or if that was just an accident. I'm giving him credit. I think he probably is down to just reset that. Okay. I'm surprised Nephew did level 1. Actually. Yeah, I was a little worried that was gonna happen. Funk hasn't qualified. Nope, CPT uh, East is has not happened yet, and like Idom's not qualified, Punk's not qualified. Um, like a bunch of people on the East Coast aren't qualified. The person who won the, the qualifier for that region, the first one, the World Warrior, was Mena. So Mena won, and uh, he's qualified. Yeah, Knuckle Dude's not qualified. Idom's not qualified. All of them are in that region. Dash, get the punish counter on the throw this time. Nice tech. So as you can imagine, oh, that shit is gonna be a bloodbath, dude. Again, but level two to break out of the corner. I immediately dash up, immediately buttons. Scores the throw, not enough to kill. Oh, I like that idea. Good parry from nephew. Oh, he had the level three there. That was like his only way out. I think he tried to drive impact, right? He tried to drive impact, but he just didn't have any gauge. Like doing heavy kick there. He had to do level three basically was his way out. I mean, he could level one also, sure, but or level two, like whatever, right? But level three was the best. Yeah, level three is the best, but it's hard to react right there. Yeah, DJ level 2 side swapping and out is very cool. For those of you who don't play DJ, the last hit of DJ's level 2, you hit heavy punch or heavy kick, and one side swaps and one doesn't. So he can choose which side he goes on at the end, which I think is really cool. I also like the level 1 here. Maybe feels over committal because he's ahead a bit on the round, but it does mean that burnout is going to be a bigger factor, so... I kind of like him committing the meter because, you know, he's going to build some more. You're going to build the gauge, man. In this game, you build meter so fast that committing to supers to win the round. Oh, no. That sucks. Is, I think, worth it. You want to spend the gauge to, to win rounds. Man, he has done a lot of, yeah. I was going to say, crossover has not blocked on wake up. Like 80% of the time, it feels like, in the last, like, four interactions or something, right? He just, he's trying to get the fuck out. He's like, get me out. Yeah. Oh, I don't think he meant that. I think he tried to throw fireball. You know why I say that? Because I also try to throw fireball with Jerry after backdashing and I've gotten super before. Again, but it's a little too far to build any kind of conversion. We're just gonna backdash sway our way out of there. Nice. So he's out of burnout. That's big. That's a that's a big thing to survive there. Good patience to stay ducking there so that he got under it. Because if you stand up early, then you just like have no anti air anymore, and then Jerry's in your face plus, which is really annoying. That jump in is really annoying because of that. Okay, that's the Jerry special. Have to go for the drive rush into the DP. Gets the throw. Nice tech. Mm, that Ooh, was gonna be a good trade, even if he, uh, even if nephew lived. That would be a pretty good trade for crossover anyway. But it's gonna get checked this time. He was talking mad shit about DJ players just failing, uh, flailing last night. That's funny. That Honestly, so DJ, as someone who he likes DJ, that. DJ is a pretty flail heavy like character. A real yeah. dive kick. Uh, so I like DJ. I think he's really fun. Again, he definitely is flailing. 
for sure. Let it rip. You know, let it rip. He's flailing. Level three. That's why he's fun, though. You know what I mean? Part of what makes him fun is that he has lots of shit to flail with. Very advantageous situation. Nice buffer. He's dead. Really, really good there. Really important to do. After you, anytime you parry a DJ fireball or like an EX fireball or whatever, then yeah, you should always be ready for dry rush to buffer after. CA certainly going to be enough. Game five here in the loser's bracket. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like DJ as a character is, is very flail swingy. That's why he's fun, honestly. I mean, he has a lot of fun stuff to do, but he can also just fucking send it with so much random shit and just kill you. It's really, it makes for a really fun, like, experience to play the character. Wow, that got completely owned. He tried anti-air crouching heavy kick. I think he probably had to do uh, back heavy kick or up kicks, but he was committed to that option, which I don't even think it looked bad at that angle, honestly. Maybe Jerry's jump is just that good. Yeah, I mean, DJ just has a lot of stuff like that. He's got a lot of stuff that's just like, <laughs> deal with it, asshole, and you just do it, and you're like, well, yeah, even right there, he tried to check the drive rush, and then DJ does drive rush so by and beats it. Nice. Wow, punish counter on a great step back here. Crossover's Boom. gonna kill with the one bar. Definitely the right decision. I love the dance he does after his level one. I like back heavy kick, the little spacing trap he did too, to, to set this up. I like this. I, I don't think I've seen this specific one. Back heavy kick into nothing, and then spacing trap for the whip punish. Yeah, pretty cool. Back heavy kick, no cancel. Why not? That little jab, so scary. Oh no. Man, he is whipped on that a lot, huh? Feels like Nephew has blocked like 400 reversals. I mean, he can he can just checkmate him here. Yeah, now he should checkmate him. Stun is incoming. No. Oh, maybe not. And just like that. He had no way out with the level one. Oh, he tried. That was, that was a good attempt. I like that. Would I wear DJ's pants? No, uh, they don't look comfortable. And they probably wouldn't look good on me. Is there's two problems in one. So good for nephew. Now we're on the edge. We'll All right. Back up against the ropes, a little spooky, but he got the job done. Final. Honestly, in that corner, I'm, I'm surprised nephew just didn't checkmate him after the second knockdown because oh I think he wanted to do the feng shui pressure, but I don't, I don't know. I think it was better not to. Would I wear Jerry's onesie? Definitely easier to pull off than the pants. Uh, that's for sure. It's just pajamas. Oh, that's really bad. Yeah, nephew, he's just prioritizing trying to burn him out here. Oh, that's even worse. Not only did he get anti he got burnt out in the process. This, yeah, he's dead now. That, that position was pretty rough. When your drive gauge is that beat up, like... Just lean so hard the spot is so tough, especially Jury is really good at stripping drive gauge with her fireball to check you, then drive rushing in, or her really good jumps that are hard to deal with, forcing it on block. And her pressure is just medium into medium into medium, and like you know, your your poor drive gauge getting its ass beat. Oh, this should be a good one too. Banana Ken versus Strider. This is a fun little match. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think Capcom has made an official jury onesie, but I'm sure it would make a fortune. It's kind of like how, you know how uh, Arxis is just like, fuck it, we're going to print uh, Bridget merch. Like, if you're Capcom, I think same rule applies, right? Just like, you got to you gotta get to printing. If you, oh my. If you're Strider, you are so lucky there. You are so lucky. Nice, I like the four medium punch. Four medium punch is gonna be so Because if that command grab had reached, really then Banana Ken would have got the counter and you would have been allows her to score a knockdown if you can get that counter hit. Or that punish counter. Good block. Nice block on the overhead. Gets the trade. I like that he waited. He was just willing to wait and let his parry go away, let his drive gauge go down. He just wasn't ready for the check, which I don't blame him. It's hard. Marissa's best check is usually medium punch, so. 
Dude. This guy, Banana Ken, is a fucking mad genius. I mean, I you know that? For going for the level two whenever possible, right? It is so difficult to block the incoming mix-up from that. Try to kill the next hit. Anyway. Oh my god, nice. That was a sick confirm. Holy shit. You don't even see that that often. Most of the time, people don't even do the the heavy kick version of the the ender on the tar combo. They do the heavy punch for the knockdown. That was beast. That was beast. I like this Marissa costume, but I hate the hair. I feel like that most people think that the hair is better in this one, right? I feel like you're you're not amongst friends in that regard. Oh, you are so. Ho this round looks so hosed. He just got hit with like the highest reward starter repeatedly. That is Those not a good time for players. sure. Yeah. Oh, the, the portals. No, man. Open up. Brian F coming through with a big raid. Thank oh, I like that. So much. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he would have had to cancel in the super there, which even if he did, I mean, his spot was still pretty bad. So. Welcome to everybody. I'm sure you guys are all aware where we're at here playing it out for top i like the i like the hair in this one i think it's cool trade combo oh, nicely trade done gonna be a banana can's favor here, though. not really something you saw a lot in the last game but it's so common in this game because the last game didn't really have trades because the priority system is very rare yeah well that'll hit with the level two we're not paralyzed we're not paralyzed. Oh, he delayed it a lot. I think he might have been trying to get around that. But Burnout is big here. Oh, that's a huge gamble. It's very scary to do that in case he does a lot of other things generally. But in Burnout, it's a it's a better gamble than something else. Oh, he missed the combo. Yeah, he blocked. The thing about that tar combo from Marissa is normally, right? Medium, medium on block. Doing something like a level one or whatever is really good. She's minus eight. Uh, but when you're in burnout, it's only minus four. Oh so this God. becomes yeah, far safer, and Marissa players can just do that, and they're just they're good to go. Smash level one there. I'm not sure if the frame did is not. It was it was burnout. That. That's it why it died. didn't work. When you're in burnout, um, it's only minus four, which is really strong. I mean, that's a good very game. very annoying to deal with. The tapes for that to see when it really activated. But there's a clean jump out of the corner here. And I can set nice. Portal. Dude, he, I feel like his, his forward medium punch success rate has been really high in this match, honestly. Damn, burnt. But I don't think this is the end of the world. Yeah, Spike. No. That works. Oh, well, now he's in the corner with no drive gauge. Oh, he committed. I think he tried to do it off the button and it just didn't reach. And now he's got another level one, which is, oh, oh yep. he just did too much. Punch there, able to close out he the did round. too much. He, like, he, you know, we all been there. We've all done a little too much sometimes. I know exactly what that's like because I've lost games the exact same way Strider just lost that game for sure. Everything he just did, I, I've died that exact way like 500 times. I, I'm right there with you. Yeah, one thing that's interesting is we've seen Strider do a lot of Gladius to beat the armor on the Ghost or like whatever else he's going for. Oh, he is so dead if he wants to spend the, the bar. I don't think he needs to actually, but okay. I'm down. Why not? Why not, right? Just kill his ass. Why not? I'm down. What did she mean by this proxy? She's trying to teach you. Damn, wake up buttons. I mean, when you have amnesia, wake up buttons becomes a very powerful tool. You know what I mean? Because people are so like down to bait amnesia that like, yeah, why not? Oh, he tried. I like the idea, but now you're really in a tough spot. The level three activation, tons of drive game comes back. Strider in a really bad spot on the meter of his own. Yeah, blocking uh -oh. anything here. He tries to go for the parry. I like that. Spike is plus burnout. when you're in burnout also, yeah. It's normally minus two, right? So it's it's plus two in burnout. But Strider, burnout okay. or not, does not seem to <gasps> keep the offense. Fuzzy was he. Oh, I, oh, I love the attempt. I can't lie. I fucking love the attempt. That is really unfortunate. I like it, Banana Ken. You give me, I give you plus 10 points to cool factor there for trying that. It may not have worked, but I like it. Oh, yeah. I heard that someone said, how many subs do I have to donate for you to play Honda? And then Punk said 20. And here we are in winner's finals. Uh, 
Uh, Here we are. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I'm not that. I'm not. Saturday, 6 p.m. This week. 100. percent It was 20, and he got like 70. Okay. Not the first time uh, I've seen Punk play some random character. So you know, it makes sense. I feel like he might have just picked this just to 1500 see. mr honda you know what that means right that means he he made master with honda like last ver like last season or whatever last time and he hasn't played him since my honda's 1500 mr right now too no that's not a combo that's not right okay never mind <laughs> The combo is supposed to be standing jab or crouching jab, standing heavy kick into the sumo walk. But I think he just was like, I don't You can also do crouching jab, standing jab, medium, headbutt. That works too. You hungry? Here's some beef. Nice whiff punish. You got no business with your Honda whip punishing. Come on, man. Like, what is going on here? Why does your Honda just have that whip punish ready, dude? Calm down. Calm, calm down. I will do. Still able to take the first round here. Random unknown OD Honda. Is he hit confirm that? He is, he is there it is. Back. Nice. Yeah, more than I've ever seen it connect with a Honda before. Tries to go for the standing heavy punch. Nice, nice, nice. That's the right combo. Oh no way, oh, dude. No, no way. If he whip punished with that, he's a, he was a beast. He was actually such a beast. He almost did too. Yeah, he did the right combo the second time. Listen, as someone who's taken the whole cast of the master, I'll tell you, it takes like, I have to drive rush like once or twice and then I remember the combo. I'm like, all right. So I'm not surprised it took, it took Punk a second. <gasps> if he confirmed, he would have killed him right there. He was just committed to the command grab. Nice empty jump. If he had a button, that same medium kick would have hit him, I think. Oh. I like the punish. Get rid of some of the drive gauge. Also, Punk's crouching heavy punches, like the hit confirms in the hands have been really good, actually. He just like whip punishes with it or like swings crouching heavy punch and then he's, he sees that it's going to connect and he's like, time for hands. And then you get the nice combo after. Missed the flash kick. Uh-oh. Nice. Bum bum. Do score. Okay, after this is not the best. So you just kind of reset. What up, Arkin? Thanks for the uh, 10 months. Oh. Nice. Uh, is that a standing only thing? It might be, right? Because that move whiffs on crouch. Oh, that little boom trap at the end to put the second boom behind to catch the jump. What up, man? Yeah. Wins the Ed trailer Capcom. He got some space though. This is a good spot. This is winnable for Punk. <gasps> Holy shit. That was very scary. He did hands, I think, right? He tried hands. I'll take an Ed trailer though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he got hit on accident. We'll take it. Yeah, he, he was armoring. I wonder if he did try super. I'm not sure. Maybe he did. Again, just trying to walk down. Jumping is going to get beat clean. Bum, bum. Oh, scoy. He's got a nice little lead. The problem is the closeout here is a little hard. This is not an easy, like, look at this. The lead's already kind of gone. The closeout is difficult. Even with the corner and stuff, this matchup is naturally kind of this way, right? Counter D, I would have killed there, though. With the right combo in a level two. Dude, his poor drive gauge, man. It is getting berated. I also like that he's not canceling in a headbutt just in case it gets parried in the block string, like he's using jab. Uh, he's using hands, rather. Nice whip punish. Boom. And on a punish boom with OD headbutt, only really close, I would imagine. It's it's hard. Boom is, there. you know, the recovery is absurd, right? So. Oh, no drive rush combo. Okay. Drive rush there. Tap the parry, trying to do something. Oh, boom, boom. Level two? I'm sp I thought he would spin the drive gauge. Wow, he has fucking command grab the shit out of him, actually. What a trade. Bro, he's about to get this game. Going into the Sonic boom right afterwards, though. Mix up. Yo, 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 yo. He could have killed the super, but he's not a Honda player. 
He's dead. Oh it's my it's god, he got a game. No way. Punish, counter, butt stomp gets you so much no way, man. What is this Honda doing out here? It's unreal. Look, look, look at Ed. Look, look at Edmund go, just fighting for his life. Like actually. Blade perfect. Blade perfect. The worst part about that whole sequence is how much your drive gauge just gets beat up. Nice. Oh, help, man. Oh, <gasps> big chance. Huge chance. Big chance gone. Big chance, no longer a chance. <laughs> that was it. That was it. He had it. He had it for a second. There, for a moment, there was a chance, and then it was over. Yeah. See, there's the the ex head butt right through. The problem with it though is that it is a little expensive, and it's hard to be right with it. You know what I mean? If you are right though, the damage is nice. It's just like it's expensive. Yeah, and if if it, it blocks, if it gets blocked, the round might be over. You actually trying to test the reactions here, closing the distance. Yeah, I, I mean, Bung's done the whole cast to master, right? Plus frames, he knows how to play the whole cast. Whiff punish. He's dead. Spend the level three. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to be able to convert to level three. Going to set him up. Circle of flames. And about to get executed. He's gone, brother. So yeah, cool. I mean, I think like, he could take the whole cast of the legend. Like, There's no three, doubt. Nah, nah, come back. Let's go. He's done it with a lot of characters. He's done it with at least ten characters. <laughs> Just domination, bro. That's Hondo's flavor. That like it, it, it maybe even more than that, right? He's done it with a lot of characters. Yeah, for sure. I think playing a lot of characters. Okay, okay. Let's say you're not gonna play, like main a character or something. I think dabbling with them and understanding how to play them is important at a high level simply to learn how to play against them so like a good example of this the other day is that uh came up is like you know jonathan Tene in strive he learned how to play gold lewis just so that yeah he's dead he's up 2-1 he learned how to play gold lewis so that he could like do the gold lewis like setups and strings so that he can lab against them because like imagine trying to lab gold lewis if you don't know how to do behemoth typhoon like it's like impossible right like i don't you know he is playing this matchup so well, slowly but surely. It's like really hard to practice the right things, right? Like in this game, it's a lot easier for most of the cast to practice stuff like that. But like, yeah, I mean, how are you going to practice? Oh, I'm surprised he didn't back throw him, actually. I thought he might just put him in the corner. Mm -hmm. I love the punish. Putting him down on drive gauge and neutral. Over is really bad for him. For the head, but still gets a knockdown, Edmund's a Bro, bit of a I tank, like though, honestly. Like, can, he can ball just ball bully ball his ball way ball. in and make it. And he uses it so well. All right, but you gotta watch out. Close to burnout and close to I like that. I like doing You're burnout up. there. Uh, the DI train. for the burnout there. It was a good idea. A little scary, because if he countered DI, you know, but like, I like the Who attempt. No. Uh-huh. I think he was too far for heavy kick there. So I think the combo adjustment from Punk might have been good. It's sad that dude's down 2-1 to a Honda. Why? What are you fucking better on Guile? And tell me the best Guile in the country. It's sad for him to be losing to a character. Boot up and beat everybody's ass, dude. Enter TNS. <laughs> Maybe it, it could also just be the perception that we have of the character is this way. Like the fact that it's like you know you would you would even consider that being down as guile to honda is a disgrace or something you know like it's maybe your perception's all messed up yeah unless the matchup is 10-0 like okay like you know let's say the matchup is 6-4 or something right like it's a winning matchup for guile it's like 6-4 Who's to say those four games can't be the ones where Punk wins or something, right? Like, four is very... like you, Those four games, you just need three of them to be the, the games in tournament. You know? Like, that's all you need. I think, I think like, 
yeah, people, they really overvalue. Like, the matchup is not that bad. People, the way people talk about matchups, yeah. This, this shit is not like an 8 2, it's not like a 9 1 matchup. You know? Bro, he wants to close it out. He's praising the stun so he can get the full Level three. the extra hand. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Level three, CA to the corner. You're in burnout. He's coming. Oh, my God. I mean. Oh, he level two. Wait, he can just DI him. No, not like that, though. Oh, I meant on block. I didn't think he was going to do DI right away. That's funny. Unreal, letting the flash change rip. That was divine intervention. That's the second time that dude has been on the verge of losing a set, and he's been like, "I'm just gonna flash kick." And you're, uh, look yeah, I mean, Honda is not a super strong character, but it's definitely like not weird to lose to Honda as Guile. Like, I don't know, it's very losable. I have a nice jump out. Definitely very losable. Trust me. Especially five, huh? like at, at a super high level, I don't, you know, I don't blame anybody for losing to anybody. I, when you get to the best players, like anybody, I think is capable of winning. That's the part that makes it fun. You guys are all, everybody in the chat is too grumpy. You guys all all need to calm down, everybody. Just relax. Yeah, I mean, that's true too. Like the way Snake Eyes qualified for Capcom Cup was winning against JP with Zangief. Like Zangief shouldn't win that matchup, but like it happens sometimes, right? I mean, That's he's it. chipped. What are you gonna? Oh. Yeah, he's yeah, gonna he's chipped. gonna have to butt slam. Yeah, to slow down oh. and or do something. Could blast yeah, from Honda at the right space. That was a really that really was hard spot. So from dude to take the chip, he could, and then chill. You do not want to get level two that spot. Everything's pretty winnable. Right, set point now for dude. I don't think there's a matchup in this game break. that's like, oh my god, you can just never win. This shit's impossible. It's got to be like an old Street Fighter game to be. You gotta, you gotta. You, I should play the clip of like Cami versus Sagat, the eight-two matchup for Super Turbo. Cami results Scott, like just him just going, Tiger, 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 and she's just stuck. Why wow, he just throws Tiger shots over and over. Such a good anti-air. The chop is my lifeblood. What an amazing normal. I like it. Bazooka knee. Get the That's one of my favorite videos for sure. Yeah, it's very good. Gotta be careful. This is not good. This this whole last game has been how I expected the matchup to look. It has not been a good time. All right, well, this is it. You either win right here or, you know. another throw. He's trying. Dude hasn't even gotten a chance to spend it in these moves. Finally, they come out. Nice. Oh, that was a good walk up. He had to attack a sooner rather than later because if he got DI'd, he was probably dead. Ah, honestly, pretty close. That was a close set for a punk just randomly playing Honda because people in the chat were like, fuck it, we ball. Pretty close. Fun set, though. I liked it. Oh, he tried to parry. That actually was very lucky for Strider. You'll take it. Yeah, dude, you know, speaking of Potemkin. What if dude is? Oh. Damn, you were literally a keyboard warrior. Like typing, you were typing an essay on your opponent's dumbass. You're like, what up? Congrats. What did you scoop up? How many of you in the chat are leverless players? I'm actually very curious. Let's do a poll. Let's, we'll do a poll. I, I think it's a lot of people, right? These two both play on leverless, by the way. Strider switched. He said he has caveman hands with bad execution. Wow. Which I thought was really funny. Okay, I'll do a poll. He just—he was like, "I'm a caveman, and I can't use this device." I'm curious what you all play on. I, Leverless is really popular these days. I think most people, arcade stick is a really old idea. Most people who play on stick are switching, and most new players will not learn arcade stick. Most new new players will learn controller or Leverless. And being able to secure this game definitely a big deal. Some of that confidence. 
Yeah, I think the biggest value to me now about Leverless is it's not that different from Arcade Stick, and it's m far more portable. That's a lot of value to me as someone who travels and wants to play video games. Like, yeah, it's pretty nice. Getting tricked with fireballs here. Last time we saw this matchup, a big uh, answer for Strider was going. Yeah, it looks like 50% of you play on Leverless or keyboard, right? and then it's like pretty like split evenly between stick and controller. Like fireball and follow behind it with the drive rush. So far, not throwing out as many fireballs here in neutral to follow behind. Yeah, I find I find that stick is more comfortable to me than control. I think controller is the most harsh on my hands, actually. Like playing on a controller is the least comfortable for my hands. What nephew is fishing for here, by the way, is exactly that. He's fishing for standing heavy punch, and every time he hits standing heavy punch, he's buffering level one super in case someone dies, so he can just hit heavy punch in the super, or if he whip punishes you, same thing. Same, same, same idea. You just hit heavy bunch, buffer level one super, and you're good. That's what he's looking for. Oh, with punish on the Gladius. Able to get a charge up on deck. There's the perfect parry. Yeah, It'll combo routing is like broke. specifically there to carry them to the corner and then not spend any gauge so that you could do this. Oh, he didn't level three. Proxy said, you three owed me. I'm, I'm very surprised he did not level three there, actually. Strider, we have seen oh. come back in pretty crazy situations though. Tries to get aggressive there with the drive rush, but immediately that's plus back. and burnout. With the CA still available, all right, all right, chill on. Have an opportunity to spend it. Uh oh, risk adverse nephew has been playing, even getting walked to the corner here. Oh, nice still man. Strider was one hitter away though. That was very, very, very that's scary. Medium punch. Or the responsive throw or something, whatever you want to call it. Good god. Here we go, scores pro. It's like a true reverse 3 0. <laughs> uh oh. Look at your drive. Oh my god, help me, dude. My drive gauge, help me. Dude, look at her drive gauge. I mean, yeah, what are you gonna do? Like, Nephew didn't have very many outs there. Chip? Oh, that, that beats safe jumps. Regular safe jumps beat EX DPs. I don't know if you guys know about this, but there are DPs that are faster than EX DPs that will beat certain safe jumps. And so you can actually win with this. I think he just messed up his safe jump. No, it is a thing. Most safe jumps are designed to beat um, EX DPs. Um, and you can wake up with a regular DP to beat it. Like, I know hers is like that. I think it's light ones. Yeah, I, exactly. Yeah. That is a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are some save jumps that beat everything, but a lot of standard save jumps, okay. or a lot of save jumps that exist that beat EXCPs will lose to regular. Yeah, I think it's maybe the the 42 frame advantage ones, because I know uh, that one is a 42 frame save jump, generally. The Marissa ones. Yeah, Jury's DP is like that. So Jury's safe jump, Jury has a safe jump that's the same way. Her safe jump from Feng Shui Engine loses to her own DP. So, yeah. You can make her safe jump plus 42 um, with the right juggle. It depends on which version of Superman Punch you do and what it is. But yes, the, um, oh, that is not good. There are safe jumps that BEX DPs that lose to the light DPs. Jury's safe jump from Feng Shui Engine is like that. Glossary safe jump? Oh, it didn't work. Gladius is a, it's a pretty good move. You know, if I do say so myself. My chat must not have exclamation point G. Maybe my chat only has exclamation point glossary. Beautiful, perfect parry. Stopping nephew short. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I don't know why exclamation point G doesn't work. Maybe it's something that I have to like put on the bot, and I just never did. Oh no! Oh, he tried. Well, at least he didn't get punished. Actually, I like nephew's attempt. Normally, when it gets kind of squirrely like that, I feel like you gotta favor the Marisa player just because when they're able to, when everybody is scrambling. This is good for nephew. I think Strider beat nephew in winter side, right? Maker generally gets the better of it. But Jerry did a great job in scramble. That's my memory. 
now once again in a good position. Oh, cut the walk Sense back. Strider out of the bracket here. Gonna go mm -hmm. straight to the Yeah, he'll probably ball. do the safe jump here. Be put into the corner. Incoming mix up. This one, I'm pretty sure that safe jump loses yeah, no to Jury's own light DP. Going. So like Jury can light DP her own safe jump there. Uh oh. Uh oh. This uh -oh. now this is looking <laughs> scary. Strider's like one good hit away from killing. If he baits DP oh, or oh that. My God, level three is built up. Well. Dude. Hold if he did back heavy punch, drive rush, yeah, charge back heavy punch into Gladius, uh, he okay, killed him. Yeah. If it was, if it was he could have he could have actually killed him on that hit. Oh nice. Oh! <laughs> that was pretty brutal. Uh, yeah, he could have straight up killed on that last hit though, by the way, which is pretty wild to think about. Alright, uh, yeah, it gets caught low. Going low is so good against Marisa, right? Her armor gets blown up by it. It doesn't even have to be a real low, it just has to hit. Oh low my up. god, he was just like medium punch. Just have low energy. It's time. <laughs> Got the throw. Command throw. Yeah, light pinwheel from Jerry is the horizontal one, yeah. But everybody knows what you meant. Medium gets the normal throw. Pressure still on. Nice DP. Oh shit. This is so scary. Oh man, I don't like this. Oh, that was it. If that was that was like you had to do something tight there. Oh my god. You had to do something tight there as Strider, because yeah, he was definitely gonna mash DP or super. Oh damn, he didn't play um he didn't play an Edmund here. No Edmund Honda? Jab, punk, Elijah's. What a great turnaround. Oh, punish, yeah. Let the spiral arrow into the dash. Damn, really? Was it one for one set? That's funny. Is that true? Does, she, does Marissa actually have enough blocks done off forward heavy kick that if she drive rushes, she can block reversal DP? I would find that really surprising if that's true. Like, she has enough blocks done to do the entire length of the drive rush and recover. If so, that's pretty useful. Dive kicks from Punk. World class, man. There's the throw again, though, from that. Patience. Yeah, loose heavy bunches like that, I suppose. The spacing is so immaculate here for Punk. There we go, drop rush on Jesus. I feel like every Punk round is just like... Oh, this doesn't look so bad, and then you just explode. Like he just he lands like a whip punish or a crouching medium kick, and you're like, well, guess you're dead. It, maybe it's because Cammy's combos are just like heavy punch, heavy punch, heavy punch to finish, and you're like, well. <laughs> okay, just saying heavy kick from a good spacing, dive kick, not quite gonna find much. Yeah, but there's the counter hit from nephew. Great corner carry on that respectful damage. Is it? I didn't think a lot of heavies had enough blocks done for that. Off of drive rush cancel. <laughs> to be safe to reversal dp if you do nothing although honestly i guess most people don't do that right what a boss samurai like it's very rare that people do heavy into nothing oh this is not good her dive kick when you're in burnout is like one of the most miserable things to deal with in the game for sure that shit sucks yeah i mean that is the most the most true way to show off. We talk about it all the time. You cannot block forever. Eventually, you have to make some. If Punk is good with Cammy. Why didn't he use it in an offline tournament? Which one? Dreamhack? I think he was just playing whoever, right? Yeah, I do remember when people all said Cammy was low damage. I mean, you know, her damage is not Marissa damage, right? But like, it's not her archetype. Oh my God, the tap of the and with meter, she does a lot of damage. But her, her, she does have like pretty low damage, regular hits, right? They're not high. Oh, I think is that button ever good at stuffing drive rush? I don't. I feel like I never see it. Does it again, just trying to get that snowball rolling. Backdash. Remember last time you were here, Punk did go for the DP. Well, her her like stance when she's in this 
this onesie and like the wind is blowing or whatever it looks so funny Like she just looks so funny in this outfit. Honestly, both these outfits are pretty solid, though. I think they're two of the better outfits for this this uh, pack. Nice reset. This this is from last night. This happened like this tournament was late last night. Yeah. So we're uh, we're chilling. We're catching the vod from last night. They uploaded it a few hours ago on YouTube. He did the late throw there again. Oh, no punish. Okay. Pretty good spot for Nephew, though, honestly. Nice. Oh, man. The spacing. He just pulled up and was like, all right. A little too far. Nicely done. When people are low, you know, they, they're always walk and block, walk and block, walk and block. Try not to get clipped by some random hit. So catching with overheads or throws and stuff like that. Fairly common. You know it's not live when you don't have to wait five minutes for crossover to show up to his match. Why is he always late? <laughs> I haven't heard about this. That's funny. Nice with the dive kick. Punish counter leads to a full combo. Yeah, the bottle back in front. He's hella late. Is he playing in another tournament? What the oh, fuck was saw. that? Uses the OD Level one? It's not gonna kill. Ignore everything that he's going for. A pixel of life left. Yeah, Punk puts himself in the burnout in the process. Uh, oh yeah. That's a rough he's spot. Facing out that standing medium kick. Solid footsies is gonna close out that round. That's one of my favorite things about fighting games. I'm not sure about you chat room but when you're about to win and you have like your opponent has a pixel and you just hit the same button over and over and over and over until they die isn't that like one of the best feelings in fighting games nice, the perfect parry. We don't go for the side swap. like you're like oh shit my opponent's got a pixel medium kick medium kick medium kick medium kick medium kick like it's so fun to just like hit the same button over and over honestly nice what up, Wesley? Thanks for 26. 26 months in the Yeah, we're like doing jabs over and over. Such an important round. Yeah, trying to get that 2 1 lead. Yeah, drive rushes are. They have a, a total duration until you're allowed to block. Yeah, so drive rushing by itself. You can't drive rush and cancel it into a block. You have to finish the entire duration of drive rush, and then you're allowed to block afterwards. Look at this medium punch. nothing anyone can do to save you my child like what's the what's it what is it it's like frame nine you can cancel them or something and then it's like 21 is the total duration right yeah that sounds right i don't think it's gonna be 20 something 21 20 of scaling on a light is it 21 it's something like that it's like frame nine or whatever you can act out of it you're dead oh my god nephew. attack on frame eight okay so then it's frame nine that it that makes sense yeah Nine for drivers cancel, eleven for parry DR. That sounds right. The people's power up the Honda. <laughs> Some something like that, yeah. But uh, the action you cancel into uh, cannot be block or whatever, right? Like you have yeah, to let that finish. So. Cami Alpha Three is clipping down. like crazy. Honestly, I didn't really notice it, but I mean, it makes sense. There's a big ass cloak just going everywhere. Immediately wakes up with the EXDP. No fear at all here from Nephew. Has a game to give. Oh man. Sometimes it's funny that that is like the oldest trick in the book. One. And it's still so good. Last hit usually does a chunk, but it's still not enough to get the kill. Nice. Dude, her, her overhead has such a deceptive range. In burnout, I come in a really dangerous situation of things that got out of hand. Nephew makes it. Oh, two damn! I'm shocked he blocked that. It looked like he was getting hit by that. Honestly, you know, Nephew's been doing that a lot. I guess it, like this character has one of the best answers to Cami's pressure in that regard, right? And that she wants to do strike throw, and having Jury just have mirrorless jumping medium punch into dive kick to be command grab is like pretty pretty good. It, it's probably pretty effective against the way Punk likes to pressure too. Honestly. Point in the game, nephew doesn't want to be making any of these trades. 
Didn't spend any bar. It's but the thing is, is that nephew needs two hits to win. Yeah, he needs two really good hits to win. So like, I think not spending the bar. A little greedy, but probably not the end of the world. In this game, the special cancel was way too far to be unblocked at that point. Recognized that the spacing was way off. Was able to get the crouching medium for the punish counter. That's super important to do with your character in just about any match. Oh, that was a whiff. You could have whiff punished, but situation comes up again, but was a little too slow that time. Oh, oh my God, no DP. I think he tried though, right? You think the the combos in this game don't look as cool as other games? I think the combos in this game look really cool. The problem though, maybe that it doesn't like you know you have it's it's a much more normal looking game than like I don't know fucking Guilty Gear where characters are exploding and poof, like just fucking wild wild shits happening all the time or Marvel or whatever. Damn, he's dead. That's game. That's uh game five. But this game has really cool characters. I think the characters in this game and the combos look really cool. This game in general is very pretty, honestly. And some of the effects are so cool. Like, the slowdown on Perfect Parry and, like, seeing the characters' mouths move and, like, all kinds of stuff like that is very, yeah. It's very, very cool. The new costumes have helped a lot, too. Honestly, I think the visual of the game was a little stale with two costumes and most people just playing Color 1 and Color 2. Dude. That drive rush was, yeah, he was so ready. I think it was a very obvious time to drive rush, right? So I don't blame Nephew for doing it because I probably would have done the same thing and died the same way. All right, stop short. Try to bail that reversal from Punk. I think Ryu doing heavy punch into heavy punch into heavy punch is sick, but you know, to each their own. Damn, he did. He was like, bro, you got to throw a bay on wake up. Fuck you. I'll do my own. Oh, that was sick. Oh my God. Runs underneath and just keeps. Level one does not kill here. But throw does kill. Okay. Oh, the DP traded. Chip is a yeah. Chip's gonna be a problem. Oh, he mashed on the dive. I cannot believe he had a button there. Now for both players, final game, final round. I can't. I'm shocked that nephew had a button right there. I bet you Punk said that shit too. He's like, you mashed a button there. <laughs> oh, wow. Whip punish the whip punish attempt. Both of them are sitting on level three as well, Proxy. There's the wake up DP. <laughs> you, know, Huge risk. you know, Punk, when someone mashes on him, he's feeling it. That's why he makes me laugh. Fishing. Oh, nice Fishing buffer. The there it is. Gets the confirm. Into the level three. Nephew is going to have Punk right where he wants him in the corner. Uh oh. Walks up for the throw. I like the beta attempt from available. Nephew. Like, drive rush whip. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, EXCP was good because. Not only was it going to kill, but uh, it was good coverage in case he tried to dive kick, I think. Doing something fast, big hitbox. Subscribe? Damn, they got the YouTube subscribe notification. This is the matchup I hear everybody complain about for Jury, right? This is, this is the matchup that I think Jury players like the least. If <laughs> Punk played Honda, things would have been different. All I'm saying, true. You're so right. 3-0 Punk if he plays Honda. For real, for real. I mean, net negative on life when it comes to how you were trading out, but ends up getting the nice. afterwards. A Good little pickup. I think Dew is trying to hold up forward there, right? He just got hit jumping. Up to get aggressive. Ended up being the difference breaker for nephew there. Yeah, very much for sure. We're going to see how Knuckle is going to be able to slow things down. Though. Yeah, honestly, this matchup being not good for Jury, I think nephew plays it pretty well every time I watch him. I'm impressed. I know Jury players don't like the matchup, though. That's for sure. This is, this is the matchup I hear is like hard for jury almost universally. Oh, just a little too far away to be able to get that jump in. Mostly her approach is like very linear, right? She approaches horizontally on the ground. And a lot of characters struggle to deal with that. Guile is not one of those characters. He controls horizontal space better than almost any character in the game. So her approach is like kind of linear and she just sort of runs into the stuff that he does over and over and over. Just dive kick lol. Oh, you know the best minds fighting games have to offer. Never thought of that. He's gonna save the meter. He's gonna try and fight it all for the final round here. That's so risky. He can chip him. Oh, he can definitely chip him now. 
Now you're in burn. Oh, you can't afford to block anything in EX. He just did Flash it. Kick. <laughs> no, I was trolling. Yeah, I mean, if it was that simple, it'd be nice. It'd be nice for her. Probably fucking miserable for Kyle. But yeah, I'm it's it's really hard. Like that's the no problem. Her dive kick hangs yeah, her in the air. Like, so it's pretty good against other projectiles, but like most things in the game, not very good against Boom. That's kind of the case for all anti-projectile moves though, right? There's very few anti-projectile moves in the game that just own Sonic Boom. This is death, for sure. That's game one nephew. I took a nap while stream was still going and I woke up to my cat watching the stream. I love that energy. Okay, crouch medium. Get a little bit of damage there. Ends up getting the I love that your cat was just vibing. My cats ball. watch the stream too, don't worry. Say jam boots. Oh no. He's big dead. Perfect. God, that leads straight into the loops, straight into the end of the round. Your Dude, your cat could cool beat Punk's Honda, I bet. If he played Guile, yeah, I mean. I heard it was really easy. Oh, I wonder if he would have lost if he hit Jumping Heavy Punch there. Yeah, see, he dive kicked really early right there, and it just did not reach. God, what's hella cheap? Was able to get a counter hit there. Didn't even go for full confirm. Instead, just walks up for the I like this. I don't mind this little two spin. I don't think he had to, but it gives him corner carry, which is uh, probably pretty useful in this matchup. All right, he's dead. GG. <laughs> You know, I've been watching. Oh, he's dead. He's actually dead that time. That was clean. I've been watching these fucking these TFT streamers. These motherfuckers. It will be the first five seconds of the game, and they'll be like, "Oh, I'm actually winning this game. It's over, GG." Like I won. And then like two seconds later, they're like, "I'm last. It's over, GG. I lost." What a response from nephew. They have to be like the most like stressed out individuals on the planet. They like any. They get hit by literally anything. And they're like, GG, it's over. I lost. Like, they're just, they're so, like, emotionally unstable. They're mental as fragile as it gets. Fighting game players are, like, the opposite, I feel like. They are just like, well, I got a pixel of life. I'm fine. And, like, wow, yeah, TFT one. streamers are, like, Ryan fucking, the wind hits them wrong. And they're like, GG, it's over. Because this and is able to find the flash kick because of the jump forward. I'm surprised he didn't land on Jerry's fireball there. Oh, good check. I think he had to hit crouching medium punch there. Nephew's fucking dead. I, I don't. Oh yeah, I mean he's big dead now. That round, as soon as he spent that that drive impact uh, or that DP, he had no drive gauge left. He was just gonna get chip. And like, if you get burnt out against Guile, uh, you know, if there was an eval bar in the game, like your win rate as soon as you get burnt out is so immediately bad. Yeah, we see oh, good bait. To go. Oh, that was tragic. I don't mind that either. Flash kick was not possible because yeah, he had already the, stand blocked uh, the um, what's it called? He already stand blocked the overhead. So. Which is a smart option, but the threat of the throw is still there. Nicely done. Didn't have to spend. Uh, didn't have to spend anything else. He didn't have a level one anyway, but. Dude, it is so back and forth. I mean, dead even. Perfect. Dead even for sure. Oh, wow. Leader, I'm surprised. I actually thought that might have trade well. comboed. Up in there. Nice. The standing heavy punch hits its mark. Is he going to level one? Yeah. I like it. Absolutely goes into level one. And that distance closed just a little bit out of time. Oh, He's good neutral alive. jump. He made do whiff and it gave him a chance. That, that, oh, jump back. Why jump back? Harry, stick up that standing medium oh, kick. chance. Tries to throw out the boom this time, but Jury's drive rush is just a little too fast. Oh, Knuckle Dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interact. Knuckle Dude, this is actually a, a so chance for him to lose. <laughs> Nephew really made all that screen space count. All right, well. The difference between that hitting or not was a huge deal. Oh, nice parry. Oh, oh. That was such a good parry from Nephew. Damn. Damn. Both of them, that was so crafty. That was a huge swing in resources in terms of drive gauge because if the level two is on block and not parried, then like, I, you know, Nephew's almost immediately dead on the spot because he has no drive gauge now. But then it's the opposite because he parried it. So it, it's so interesting.
That's what makes the resources in this game so fun, man. Yeah, I think the way Knuckle Dude uses Guile level two is very good. I I'm like a huge fan of how he does it. He he optimizes around trying to kill people's drive gauge a lot because it's such a big win condition, and he's so comfortable playing neutral with Guile because you know his neutral is great. That I think it's like a, such a smart way of spending resources, honestly. And not not every Guile player does that, you know. I'm a big fan. Oh, the late throw to catch the back dash again. Try to bait the flash kick. Hey, stop short there was definitely he's gonna be chipped we've seen it multiple times all right nephew is running so his drive gauge will come back this one you have to interact with <gasps> yeah, just keep going. he drive rushed to change the timing so that he would miss his Nothing. response did you see Nothing that drive rush right as it was about to hit he drivers right before it hit to try to make him miss his parry or like mess up his jump or whatever he was trying to do <laughs> that's why he did that i don't know if you guys saw he, he drive rushed right when it was about to hit him so that it ate the input of whatever nephew tried right there. You see that? Yeah. It will just keep going. Not the drive rush right as it was about to hit. I feel like that was definitely intentional. Yeah, he did it right at the end. I mean, because nephew just stopped moving. He probably tried parry, right? Dude, threatening the tournament now. Has that level three. Oh, it does connect. Get He's ready. Out, okay. Try and stake your claim on this round. Get yourself back into this one, dude. Yeah, it, it, it's a nice little, it's a nice little way to beat people so up. Times. Throw, throw a different look at them. Oh, good trade. Oh, I, I don't know if he could have comboed after that. He tried. I like that he tried. Yeah, that is right. Oh, damn. Very, very nicely done dude, from Knuckle Dudang. Play well played. That was a fun little tournament. Good matches as always. I like watching TNS. It's been a while. Yeah, dude's defense in the corner. Is unreasonable. The amount of times he gets cornered as God and wins is, yeah. Knuckle is a beast, man. I think that's one of his biggest strengths in five, also though. But it's been a while since we watched TNS. We were watching it basically every week for a while, so it's nice to like take a little break, come back, do some more match analysis, watch for a bit.